Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be talking about all of my favorites that I have just been loving. We're talking skincare, beauty and fragrance. I have so much to talk about. Oh, I even got some candles and some lifestyle, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this video and see something new and cool today. I will list everything down below for anyone who is interested in all of these products. There's so much to go through, so I don't want this intro to be long, but if you're new, please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Karina Waldron, and I would love it if you subscribe, okay? Leave a comment down below letting us know so we can invite you into the family and uh, it's free, so why not subscribe? <laughs> so a lot of these favorites are definitely geared towards fall. The weather is changing here in Canada. It's starting to get cold, <laughs> which I'm not excited about. And so I have to change my skincare products because I get really dry skin in the colder months. So I need hydration, hydration, nourishment, and all of that good stuff. My fragrances also change. I love something a little bit more sweet, more gourmand, more smoky, more leathery, more woody. So we have a lot to go through. I'm going I'm going to start with lifestyle because I don't have a ton of lifestyle stuff unless you guys want me to do a lifestyle favorites. No beauty included, no fragrance included, just like my favorite books, my favorite kitchen items, my favorite home decor items. Let me know if you guys want to see that because I'm a huge lover of home decor. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am obsessed with hot drinks. I love a good latte, mocha, a shot of espresso. I am truly at heart a lover of coffee. And the espresso beans that I have been loving is right here. This is from Starbucks. Yes, this is a basic one. Now I go between this and an Italian brand that I just finished, so I didn't have the package to show you guys, but I'll try and link it down below. But the blonde espresso from Starbucks is so good. Anytime I get a latte, I get it with the blonde espresso because it's just so creamy and it's like a little bit lighter. It's not super heavy and dark roasted. So you will get more like a medium roast and I get the beans and just use them at home when I'm making my lattes and stuff like that. So this is my favorite, favorite coffee right now. Well, it's been like that for a little while. I love it. Now let's talk about some mugs that I have just been loving. One I've had for a little while and one is new. It's from H&M. Okay, if you come to my house, you will see I have an obsession with mugs. Like if I see a cute mug, I have to have it. There's just something about creating experiences in everyday life things. Like I love having my latte, but I wanna make it luxurious. I want it to be an experience. Like why not romanticize the everyday ordinary things of life, like having a cup of coffee. And so my mugs are really important to me. I love a cute little mug. This is is more of like a rustic one. It's super cute. I love the size of it. A latte in here is literally everything. Again, this is from H&M and I actually picked up quite a few things from H&M recently for my fall home decor. I picked up some of their, um, what do you call it? Some of their pillowcases. I picked up a few little knickknacks for the table and I think they've just been doing incredible with their home section. So if you've never checked out home decor from H&M, I highly recommend you do. The other mug, I've had it since last year. I think it's still available. It's from Anthropology, and it's this one over here. I just, normally I go for more of a minimalistic look and design, but something about the checkered look with the gold detail really, really captivated me. I actually ended up getting one for each member of my family. Um, the W is for my husband, Waldron, but I can use it too because I'm a Waldron too. But yeah, I love, love a good mug. Like if you have an obsession with mugs, let me know where I can get cute mugs. I definitely find a ton of them on Etsy. That is the shop to go. I have a little coffee station in my kitchen. I can give you guys a little tour, a little video or something, let me know. And these syrup holders are literally everything. I got them off of Amazon and I just love every little detail. I'm obsessed with the bottle and the fact that they come with the labels already written so beautifully and the gold detail, like, 
love love these i ended up getting two so i did the vanilla and salted caramel i might pick up one more to add another syrup but these are my go-to syrups for the most part and i don't use a ton of syrup in my lattes or any hot drinks for that matter so they last me quite a while and the syrups in here are the ones that are used at starbucks i normally get them either at a starbucks location in my house or on amazon but the bottles are a must have okay so i actually have one more lifestyle style item and it is candles i have to give a shout out to my candles and these two are the ones that i love for the fall let me turn this around these smell divine when it's gloomy and kind of cold outside maybe it's raining i love them so for those rainy days midnight hour is my go-to it's such a sophisticated scent it has notes of rose labdanum and sandalwood and it smells so luxurious. Oh, it has a bit of sweetness in there too, a little bit of woodiness, and it's kind of creamy because of the sandalwood. I love, love this candle. If you guys haven't heard, I did create my own brand, of course, Illuminar, and they are doing fantastically well. These are clean, okay? Clean burning candles with natural coconut soy wax, wooden wicks that crackle and give that like fall feel, and they burn so beautifully, so check them out. And then the other one that has been a top seller and I highly recommend everyone trying this out, especially if you love your gourmands is gourmand. And here is that packaging, just to give you guys a bit of a close up there. I love gourmand. And when I first created this candle, I was like, mm, this is the least of my favorites because I don't like sweet candles, but this one has stolen my heart. It's sweet, it's decadent, it's delicious. For the fall in the kitchen or even in the living room is just beautiful. And if you have ordered from Illuminar, please leave your comments down below, head up to the website, leave a review. I would love to know everyone's feedback. I'm also always open to constructive criticism because that's what helps me better my product. So please, please don't be afraid to leave a review. Next, I have to talk about body moisturizers because I need to lotion my body or I will be dry and very itchy. One thing about me is I have extremely irritated and sensitive skin on my legs. I don't know why it's been like that for years, but my legs get super irritated and I need to hydrate and nourish them as soon as I'm out of the shower. Like I'm talking, I am still wet and I will pick up a moisturizer and really hydrate them, but not all moisturizers work. And these two are the products that I have been loving. I combine them or use them separate, but I find when I combine them, they really work well together. This is from Olay and it is the Hyaluronic Acid Nourishing and Hydrating Moisturizer. I use it all over the body. It's so nourishing. It feels amazing. It gives you that beautiful glow that we all love. And then I have the Osea um, Andaria Algia Body Oil. You guys have heard me talk about this oil numerous times, and that's because it is so luxurious on the skin. It feels amazing. It gives you that bronzy glow, but combine this with this moisturizer and baby, your skin will be supple and smooth like butter. I love, love combining these two. If you have very dry skin, please give this combo a try because it works wonder. And with Olay, I recently worked with them on Instagram and I discovered so many hidden gems. Like I had no idea that Olay had so many incredible skincare products. I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a snob when it comes to my skincare. And so I'm always hitting up the uh, higher end brands, but wow, have I been sleeping on Olay? There are a ton of not just body products, but also their face products that are just amazing in terms of ingredients and how they feel and look on the skin and the results. So loving, loving this. And you definitely will hear more about Olay on this channel hair product i only have one item and that is a hair oil this is actually perfumed it's from kerastice and it's this oil over here i'll give you guys a bit of a close-up listen if you have split ends or flyaways 
get this oil. I don't know what it is about this oil. I will take a little small amount of the oil and it feels super silky to the touch. It is a bit of a thicker oil, but it doesn't weigh down my hair. And I will run this on the tips of my hair where I have split ends. Yes, honey, I have split ends and I have some flyaways. Not only will this oil give my hair incredible shine, Okay, but it almost like makes the flyaways and my split ends disappear. Like my hair looks so healthy and beautiful and bouncy. It doesn't weigh it down at all, but I'm just impressed by how it just makes my split ends kind of like close up and my hair just looks a lot more healthy and presentable because sometimes the split ends will make your hair look a little bit, you know, fried and unhealthy loving this oil so much and again even if you have thinner hair this is not going to weigh your hair down just use a small amount honestly this is going to last you forever because a little of it goes a long way not to mention it smells incredible it smells so good and Kerastase as a brand I really love a ton a ton of their hair care products of course I have to mention skincare because my skin is always going to be a priority I love taking the time to do my skincare routine whether it's a quick 15 minute or a whole 45 minute routine honey I will make the time to get this skin right because I just feel like skin care moment is an experience it's like that wind down time for me just me in the bathroom sometimes I'll put a little music in the background or a little video on my phone and I will just indulge in my skincare products I will take my time making sure I'm removing all of my makeup that I'm slathering myself with products that feel good and give me results honestly when I get compliments or questions on my skin it really is all about having a consistent skincare routine with products that work for you. Everyone has different skin types, so you have to make sure you are checking out products that work for you. Now, let's start with a moisturizer. Again, Olay. <laughs> this is their Hyaluronic Plus Peptide 24 Cream, and I love, love this stuff. Normally, I'm the kind of person that loves a thicker cream in the evening, and during the daytime, I don't want anything too heavy, especially if I'm gonna put makeup over it. I want everything to layer beautifully on the skin and not feel greasy and like my pores are getting clogged. This texture, is incredible. It's almost like a gel formula. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that. It's almost like a gel formula. I'll, co I'll give you guys a bit of a close up right here. But when you start to rub it in, it's just so light, almost like a cloud. It's so airy and so fresh. And look at that glow right afterwards. My skin feels extremely plump, extremely hydrated and rejuvenated. I love the texture of this. I love how my skin looks brighter and hydrated and nourished and it's just a really really great product love that it is accessible it is in so many stores right around the corner and best of all it's affordable so you don't have to break the bank with this one and it's product that works so if you love hyaluronic acid like me you want to check this one out now let's talk about toner have I talked your ears off too much about this one? I'm gonna mention it again. It's from Laneige. It's their Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. Love this stuff. I'm on my second bottle, guys. If you have dry skin, you need this. I'm telling you, you need this. Pick it up right now. You won't regret it. It's so silky and nourishing and hydrating on the skin. I not only use this alone, I use this actually on my two kids' uh, face. They have very dry skin, like very, very dry skin. And after they wash their face, I put this on them and it is just like, glowing glowing and supple so I really love this toner as for serums I have two serums right over here so I have the Lancome Renergy triple serum this guy I've been talking about on TikTok so often because if you want a product that's gonna make you glow listen I am not kidding you I'm just dispensing that it comes like this almost like obviously there is two or three formulas here and then you rub it in, look at the glow. Instantly, 
my skin is dewy. Like I literally don't have to put a moisturizer over this because I feel like it does all that I need it to do. It's like a serum and a moisturizer all in one. It's so, so luxurious, so luxurious. So I love it. This is probably my second bottle now and it's gonna remain in my collection. Now, my skin gets dry, which means I get texture during the winter time for sure. And not just the winter, as soon as the temperature is starting to drop and that weather is changing, my skin starts to react. And so I get a little bit more texture and this saves me. This is from Osea. It's the C Glow Overnight Serum AHA Treatment. So this is a treatment. This is going to exfoliate your skin overnight. And when you wake up, smooth supple supple and smooth that's what you want for your skin okay so this product i use about twice a week max i don't need to use it every single day i think that would be a little bit excessive you kind of want to be gentle with your skin but i use this about once to twice a week and i promise you my skin is like so smooth and like the texture is completely gone i have this nice radiance to my skin in the morning so it's definitely one of those products that you see results instantly. And the very last item that I'm going to talk about is from Tula. So a lot of the times I don't wear makeup. <laughs> On my regular day-to-day -day life, if I don't need to film, I will not wear makeup. I will be barefaced. But I love this primer from Tula because there's something about it. It evens out my skin tone. Like if I have to go run an errand, if I have to, I have to go see clients with my husband and I just kind of want to even out my skin tone without having to put a whole bunch of makeup on. I just want even out my skin tone, put a little gloss on and a little mascara and I'm good to go. This is so good. It's called the Filter Primer Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. Um, I think there's just one color to select from. So when you first dispense the product, I'll show you guys right here, it looks completely white, as you guys can see. But once you start to blend it, it kind of meshes with your skin and has a color to it. And it really does give you a little tiny bit of coverage. It gives you a beautiful, bronzy glow and it just looks so good on the skin like it's definitely a filter kind of product it's actually insane with this formula highly recommend i got a chance to try out a bunch of tula products and I gotta say, eh, I know that they work with a lot of influencers and sometimes people get skeptical and they're kind of known as an Instagram brand type of thing, but oh my goodness, their products really impress me. And this one is definitely a keeper. I have a few more products when it comes to skincare. I almost forgot them, but I grabbed them real quick. So the other serum that I have been really loving is this one from Herbivore. This is their Moon Fruit 1% Oh, pfft, girl, I'll just show you guys because I'm not going to butcher this. So this is their serum. First of all, it's so fun to use. It has this beautiful purple tone, but I feel like this gives me a beautiful glow on the skin. Like I've been using it for a while now and I am definitely seeing how it just has been glowing up my skin and I really, really have been loving it. Um, I definitely tend to explore more of the brand. Uh, the other product from this brand that I really enjoyed is their oil oh my god definitely oils come to play especially in the colder months and this oil this facial oil is so luxurious you only need the tiniest amount like my bottle is still completely full because i only use maybe like two drops and it just dispenses so well and goes all over your face. It feels so luxurious and so nourishing. I love, love, love this oil for nighttime. I use my oils mainly at nighttime. If my skin is getting very dry, I'll use it during the day if I don't have to put makeup on. And the other oil that I have been loving is the Miracle Facial Oil from Omarovo, I can't say this brand. <laughs> so this brand over here, um, this is a recent one for me. I've only been using this for about a week now and I know I love it. I just love it. This is a lot lighter than the Herbivore. Like you will see real quick, I'm gonna show you guys a bit of a close up. The way that it falls, you can see that it's a lot of lightness. It's very light, so it's not gonna be super heavy. It's not gonna clog your pores. 
And when I have been adding my oils to my face, I actually have been preventing uh, the T-zone area. So I don't add a ton of oil right here because I don't want my pores to emphasize and get clogged. So I'll put it everywhere else. And then this oil, I want to show you guys the consistency. This has a little bit more of a thicker consistency. So if that's your jam, see how slow that falls? You can see the difference. So if you love more of a thicker oil, you're going to enjoy it. this one, but I love them both. All right, let's talk about fragrance before we get into makeup. I'm gonna start with a no-brainer by the fireplace from Replica. This has come out to play. Of course, I love this fragrance. It just has this like addictive nature that, I can't get over that smokiness, that woody tone, that vanillic sweetness. It's like almost like you grabbed sugar and you put it in a pan and you caramelized it. So you can still smell the smokiness. You can smell a few edges of burnt sugar. It is heavenly. I love, love this scent. And if you haven't tried it yet, please go and try this out. It is beautiful. If you don't like smoky fragrances, you might not like this one, but I love it. Another fragrance that has been out to play is Killian's Angel Share. This was love at first sniff and I am so excited to be wearing this again. I, def I definitely reserve this more for the colder months, but I have worn it in the evening during uh, the summer and it's worked out well, but I just love this boozy goodness. Ah, oh, this booziness, this cinnamon in there. It's just so delectable and delicious and it's more elevated. And I just think that this is a masterpiece. Killian did an incredible job and they really need to bring out something that's gonna top this. I don't know what, I haven't smelt it yet, but I need to see it. And then the very last one that I'm gonna mention is YSL Live Intense. This is a gorgeous lavender scent with a lot of vanilla and sweetness. So if you have not, tried the intense version, please go ahead and try it out. I know that they just came out with the Le Parfum, which I will get my hands on to explain my review and let you guys know what is worth your coin. But this one is beautiful. I love it. And I've been wearing it quite a bit. It's so beautiful. It's so likable, honestly. This one is very likable. In my opinion, it's quite a safe blind buy. So love this one. I'm not gonna mention too many fragrances because of course this channel is filled with fragrance content and there's gonna be a lot more for fall and winter. So those are the ones that I'm gonna mention. Let's talk a little bit about makeup. So when it comes to base products, I like something lightweight. So here are my go-to foundations currently. Oh, my body was dirty. Sorry about that. This is from Ilia. It's what I have on right now. It's called the True Skin Serum Foundation. Obsessed with this one. I have it in the shade. What shade is this? I'm going to list it down below. Um, I think it's called Sienna, but I will list it down below. Here is that bottle again. Mine is a little bit dirty, but oh my goodness, guys. When I tell you this looks like skin, I am not joking. It is heavenly. So it's what I have on my skin right now, and I'm giving you guys a bit of a close-up of what it looks like. It is so skin-like, but it definitely has coverage. It's just gorgeous, guys, absolutely gorgeous. And Ilya is a brand, do not sleep on them. Do not sleep on them. They have some incredible products. I also really love their powder. I'm gonna show you guys right now. This powder over here is what I have on my skin to set my under eye area. It's called their Moon Dance Radiance Translucent Powder with SPF 20. It definitely gives me a little bit of a glow, but it just looks incredible and light and it doesn't look heavy on the skin. When I want more coverage, the Tom Ford, this is the uh, Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation with SPF 50, and I have mine in the shade Tawny. I love this. It's my skin but better. It is my favorite full coverage foundation. It just looks so natural on the skin. It looks flawless, but like in the most natural way. It definitely has more of a radiant finish. Uh, I, I, I'm obsessed, honestly. It's an expensive product, I won't lie, for a foundation. She is a pretty penny, but worth every single penny. I love the packaging, how sophisticated and luxe 
luxes. I mean, if you're paying that much, you want the packaging to definitely be luxe. And Tom Ford overall has beautiful makeup. And I'm going to mention two drugstore products. If you're on a budget or you're just not trying to spend a whole bunch of money, you have to get these. The e.l.f. This is the Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster for Radiant Skin. Oh my goodness, this was viral, viral on TikTok for all the right reasons. This is incredible. It looks so stunning on the skin. Now this shade that I have over here is, uh, what is this shade? Huh, I don't know what the shade is, but I believe it is medium. I'll link it down below. I can use this as a foundation. It does have enough coverage that it's gonna even out your skin tone, but also leave it with a beautiful glow. I know a ton of people was comparing this to Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Uh, I don't think they're the same because the Charlotte Tilbury one doesn't really give me coverage. It just gives me luminosity, which I like to apply under foundation or over to give me a glow. This is more like a very iridescent foundation. It is a very light, almost skin tint, but has decent coverage and has a glow. It's not pearlescent, it definitely has a glow, depending on the shade that you get. I have a lighter shade and that one is a no-no for all over the face, but for the highest points, it's perfect because it looks a little bit too pearlescent, while this shade really just looks like a foundation with a dewy finish. And then this over here is from L'Oreal, it's the Age Perfecting Radiant Serum Foundation, and it is a beauty. If you've never tried this out, please do, especially if you have maybe mature or dry skin and you're looking for something that is going to be hydrating, good coverage, long wearing. Don't look for anything else. This is perfection. First of all, Rare Beauty, they have my heart already. I love that brand. So many of their products are actually incredible in terms of the formula and the thought behind them. You can definitely tell there's a lot of love and dedication to this brand. So I think the Selena Gomez is doing an incredible job. Let's talk about these two products. It's uh, a recent launch for them. They're matte lipsticks and lip liners. This one is in the shade. What shade did I end up getting? Oof, man. I don't memorize the shades, honey. This is called Strong, and it's what I have around my lip. It is a deep, deep brown. So right here, that one is strong, and I love to line my lips with this and then kind of smudge it out. It is so creamy, and it's one of those pencils that is like retractable right over here, so you don't need to sharpen it, but super, super creamy on the lips. And then the lipstick, this is a bullet lipstick. It's a matte lipstick in the color Wise, I believe. Yeah, Wise. And when you open this up, this is what you do. You just give it a click and your lipstick is out. So you pull it out and there you have the lipstick right there. Mine is probably pretty dirty. This combination is giving me 90s vibe all the way. It's like my perfect brownie nude. So there's the lip liner and there is the lipstick. I am so obsessed with this combo. I wear it so often and I just love it for fall. It's going to be absolutely perfect. I do have it on right now, but I put some gloss over it. So it looks a little bit more like going towards a deeper red, I want to say, or kind of like a tint of red because of the lip gloss that I put on it. But these two together are my jam. I do put a little bit of gloss on top of it, with, on top of it whether it's like like clear or just like a bit of a pinky tone. But um, the lipstick, the lipstick is very velvety, very smooth and not drying at all, at all. Now, other lip products that I have, let's talk about Fenty Beauty Hot Chocolate. I had this for a long time and then it blew up on TikTok. So I took it out again and I love it. It is just the most perfect brown tone lip gloss. It has these like iridescent to it like you guys can see i hope you guys can see that it has like some glitter particles that when the light hits your lips it just looks juicy and luscious a very very sexy color actually and it suits a ton of different skin tones because it is not um as deep as what it looks like here it's actually more like a translucent brown so i have it right there look at that color 
I mean, hello, she is gorgeous. This is in the original formula, but I do believe they have this in their other um, lip gloss formula. And for Merit Beauty, I love this gloss from them. I forget the name of it. What is it called? I am going to, it's called Cara Cara. And it's more of this like, ooh, what is this? An orangey tone, like a brick orange kind of tone. And it's really, really beautiful. It's almost like a brownie orange. I love this for fall and I love the formula of the Merit Beauty glosses. So it's right over here. Super pretty, very comfortable on the lips, not tacky and sticky at all. And then last but not least, my favorite red. I wear this all year round, but in the fall she shines. She shines and everyone asks me what is on your lips when I put this on. Uh, it could be in a video, it could be in a, in a picture, it could be in person and someone will be like, honey, what is that? This is the most comfortable liquid lipstick formula ever. It's from the Sephora collection and it's this one over here. Hello, isn't she beautiful? This is literally the perfect red for every skin tone. No exception. Every skin tone, every skin tone is gonna look good in this red because it almost has like a blue undertone and I just feel like blue undertone reds match everyone. So I will link this down below and all of the products that I mentioned. Uh, and I think we are done for today, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and saw something new and cool today. Again, I will list everything down in the description box. If you guys have any video recommendations, please leave a comment comment down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you all on the next video. Ciao!